What, ladies and gentlemen, is the probability? Anybody care to speculate? Chief? Did you read the book? No. It is. It's the likeliness of something happening. And in the wonderful mathematical world that we live in, we have decided to show probability in kind of a fractional form. Here's my big long fraction. Okay, where zero, okay, where zero means that something is completely impossible. For example, if I said, what is the probability that today is Wednesday? No chance. It's a zero. Okay. Going all the way to the number one, which is absolutely positively certain, which would be what is the probability that today is a Tuesday? Okay, that is certain. Okay, now those things, you know, you can't, there's no black or white area there. But then we've got stuff that are kind of in the middle. We've got exactly in the middle with one half. And then we've got the range of stuff in here. Okay. On this side of one half, it's unlikely that things will happen. Okay. On this side of one half, it is likely that something will happen. And the closer you get to 1, the more likely it is. The closer you get to 0, the more unlikely it is. And then right at 1 half, right at 1 half, it is as likely as not. And we try to find things that are right at 1 half. For example, flipping a coin, if it's a fair coin, because they make unfair ones out there. Excuse me. <coughs> Flipping a coin it has a probability of one half that it's going to be a, a head for a tail. And the way that comes up is like this. Um, probability is based, is based on this fraction where on the bottom of the fraction is the total number of outcomes. Total number of outcomes. So like flipping of uh, flipping a coin, there's only two choices, right? Either the heads or the tails. So that's where the two come from. And the top of the fraction is, you know, the number of the ones you want. Okay, the number of what you want. So here it is kind of in the math book here. First of all, we like to abbreviate some stuff. So instead of writing the word probability, I just put the capital P. That stands for probability. If I'm flipping a coin, I put a little parenthesis and I put what I want the coin to land on. Let's say I want the coin to land on a tail. So look at with just those little things here. You can say that like the probability of flipping a tail is, well, how many different choices do you have? Again, there's a head or a tail, so there's two choices. How many of those choices is a tail? One. So the probability of flipping a tail is one half, which means one out of two times you should get a tail. Now remember, this is not an exact sort of thing. Just like when you answer your parents, like if they ask you if you want to do something and you say probably, what does that really mean? No, sometimes it's not even 50-50. Sometimes you say probably just so that you can get out of it because you don't want to say yes, right? I kind of know the system is going to be. Yeah. Probably doesn't mean it has to happen. I could flip a coin 15 times and never get a tail. Okay, but it says in mathematically figuring one out of every two times you should get a tail. 
Now let's look at something else. What if we're rolling a die? There's the nicest looking die you're going to want to ever see, right? I really need to recalibrate this thing. Hold on. The thing is not going where I want it to go. The probability of taking a die, check this out. Here's my little die. Maybe I should put, let's make a, let's make a side of it. Let's make a six on one side and a four on the other side. If I asked you what is the probability of rolling a three, again, it's going to be probability is going to be in fraction form. What number goes on the bottom? How many different choices when you roll a dice, a die, are there? How many sides does it have, Elijah? Six. Six sides. And then how many of those six sides are a three? One. So your probability of rolling a three is one out of six. So if you roll it six times, you should get it at least once. Now, does that mean that you couldn't roll it three times and get sixes or get a three every time? No. But the odds, the probability, mathematically speaking, it's going to happen to be that. What about this? Let's mix it up a little bit. What about the probability of getting an odd number? Now, we still have six sides on the die. How many of those choices, of those six, how many would be odd numbers, Jaden? Three. Three. So the probability is three out of six. If you're a reducing sort of person, it would still be the probability of one half. What about this? What would be the probability if I blindly picked a person out of the fifth grade class that I would pick a girl? I just blindly picked, well, how many kids, let's go with how many people are here right now today. How many total people are in the class right now? 24. All right, so we got 24 total choices, and how many right now of those 24 are girls? I got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I get fifteen. So your probability is 15 out of 24. You could actually reduce, is there 16? No. You could actually change that fraction, but we're not going to. Um. Yeah, what's up? All right, how about this problem right here? Okay. Uh, a bag contains five red marbles. A bag contains five red marbles and three blue marbles. Three blue marbles. And two yellow marbles. What's the probability of picking, if you blindly look in the map, what's the probability of picking a blue marble? Now, if this problem would happen to show up on your homework assignment, guess what I would not want for you to do? You can probably guess. I'm pretty predictable when it comes to this. Sketch it out, and what would that look like? Nothing more than this. Pretend like you've got a bag. Inside the bag, I've got what? How many red marbles? How do you suppose would be the easiest way for me to show that? Just put five letter R's in there. And then I have three blues. And I have two yellows. Okay, and that would be what I'd want to see. And then you would write down this. What am I looking for? The probability of picking a blue marble. So you put the capital P with the letter B and then an equal sign. Now we can actually do the work. 
How many total marbles are in that bag? How many are there? Yes, ten. Ten. And of those ten, how many are blue? Three. So the probability of picking a blue marble should be three out of ten. Lance and Danny, do you guys need to go out and call again? No. Are you sure? How would I know that? Based on the fun and frivolity that you're having back there? How about this? They might also ask you the question, what is the probability that it is a not blue marble? And again, it's kind of the same thing. Still have 10 marbles in the bag, but how many of them are not blue? How many are not blue? Blue? Seven. Seven. So, and then if I asked you, is it certain, unlikely, as likely as not, likely or unlikely that you're going to pick a blue marble, what would you say? Keith? Unlikely. It's unlikely you're going to pick a blue. Is it likely, unlikely, certain, not likely, as certain as unlikely, or not likely as certain as it should be if it wasn't yesterday or tomorrow? Yeah. For this one here, page, it would be... Likely. Probably likely to be a not blue marble. Take a look, please, at page 362.